Um, I was wondering if for the benefit of um, residents and tourists that don't speak or understand Spanish, if you would be able to provide um, a quick uh, summary of what's contained in the new order and the strategy to ensure that these visitors comply uh, with the measures. Okay, so basically um, the change, the changes consist of the following. Uh, for restaurants, we are now allowing, this, this order comes into effect on Monday, uh, next Monday. And uh, as of Monday, restaurants can um, operate um, and up to 50% of their capacity. That's the uh, restriction we have in place for uh, all commercial establishments, retail stores and so on. So now it'll apply to restaurants. In the past, the capacity restriction was uh, 30%. Um, so now they, they're, they're allowed to go to 50%, but they have to keep six feet um, tables uh, six feet apart, and they, they have to uh, require the use of uh, masks, except when um, the clients are obviously um, uh, drinking or eating, um, among other requirements. Um, cinemas are now allowed to um, operate uh, and uh, up to uh, 50, 50 percent of their capacity. In the past, they were restricted um, uh, and they were required not to exceed 30 percent of their capacity. Theaters are now allowed to um, open and operate um, up to 30 percent of their capacity. This is this is for cultural events. Um, um, centers for um, elderly, long-term care of elderly will, will be allowed to open and allow visits um, as well as um, our prisons and uh, institutional institutions uh, for juvenile delinquency. All those will be able to allow visits, but they need to comply with the uh, pertinent protocols uh, of uh, the Department of Family Affairs, the Health Department, the Department of Correct Correction, among others. Uh, I, I should say that what's happening in those um, centers and institutions is that uh, the personnel, uh, as well as those who reside you know, or are living in them, are have been already uh, vaccinated, and they they uh, they they they're immune at the moment um that's those are the main items actually early head starts um, head start and early head start centers will be able to open subject to basically the same rules that apply to schools um and they, they will be opening on a on a limited basis on, on a on a hybrid basis um the lockdown remains in place Basically, and this is important for tourists to know, uh, and the order in, in all other respects remains uh, uh, in effect, which is that we're requiring the use of masks uh, in commercial establishments and uh, actually pretty much everywhere. Um, it, we're also uh, requiring people to keep social distance, to maintain social distance um, and um, in terms of the uh, uh, lockdown, it applies from uh, 12 uh, midnight, uh, from midnight till 5 a.m. Uh, during those hours, tourists shouldn't be circulating. They shouldn't be uh, outside. They should be wherever they are staying, um, hotels or residences, wherever they are. They need to be home uh, within those hours. And uh, commercial establishments, including restaurants, um, can only operate from 5 a.m. till 11 p.m. Um, bars are not allowed to operate. So we're not allowing bars bars to 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 open. Uh, only restaurants and retail stores, grocery stores, uh, pharmacies, uh, that type of establishments. Um, so that's I think that's the guidance we can give tourists. The police 
uh, is uh, is going to be monitoring uh, their conduct, and they should be behaving the same way we're requiring our local population to behave. Um, after all, all these measures are intended to protect uh, the public at large, including the, the tourists themselves. There are no exceptions here. Thank you.